This video is especially dedicated to the I Watched the Entire Overblood Super Replay Facebook group and also Game Informer who introduced this obscure game to me and has created a special place in my heart. So to start off with I had to look at some source material so I got some pictures of Raz from various angles mostly from the front and the back so that I have some sort of reference to sculpt and I did the same for Peepo so I so I got an image of him and this is pretty much the only one I could find so I, had, I only had that one image to work with so I used the Figma criminal body as a base since it's quite a blank body and then I just used epoxy sculpting clay and then sculpted over the figure so I added the sleeves and then the bagginess in the trousers and I also sculpted the face for Raz as well. And then added the details for his beard and stuff. And then after that I added his belt and also his jacket. And then I added the kind of gloves that he wears as well. And then once all that was dried I began painting the figure using Games Workshop paints which worked pretty well for the most part. So I just painted all the correct colours onto the figure and then carefully added some details to his eyes and his beard and then that was pretty much it for Raz. And then to sculpt Peepo I had to make sure he was in scale with Raz so I sketched out a small diagram comparing him to the Raz figure and then using the same epoxy sculpt I just sculpted all the mechanical parts of his body really. And then I wanted his arm to have articulation so I used Revoltec joints and then just sculpted in the parts, added in the joints and that gave him the ability to move his arm. And then once that was done I just painted him in a whole metallic silver paint and then added some rusty sort of weathering texture to him to really bring out the details and the mechanical parts. And that was pretty much it. And in the end I think the figure turned out quite well. I think the most difficult was sculpting the face since it's, it was quite hard sculpting at that scale and adding any eyes was pretty difficult as well. But I think overall it turned out okay. I feel that it's a decent representation of the character and as of this video anyway there isn't really any sort of merchandise or figures of, of these characters from a pretty obscure game so in the end for the most part I think it works pretty well. How's it going this is Hoyman and today we're taking a look at my own custom figure Raz Kasi figure. So I actually made this figure back in 2016 but for whatever reason I never reviewed it but I guess better late than never I suppose but I'm looking at him again it does spring up some memories of like me making this figure and my time watching the Overblood Super Replay from Game Informer that's how I got introduced to the video game and this character but there was never any merchandise from that game so I decided to make one myself and I think overall it turned out pretty good like the likeness of the character I feel that it's recognisable to the character but it was pretty hard sculpting the face since it's quite small and like the scale of the figure is pretty small so getting all the detail in there was pretty difficult but I think I managed to do it okay in the end. So in terms of the sculpt the figure itself is mainly just a blank figma body so the parts I did sculpt is the belt, the jacket, the parts on the gloves sleeves here and then the bagginess on the trousers and then pretty much the whole head so stopped at the eyebrows the beard to his hair and his eyes as well and like i already said i think it turned out okay so for articulation the neck is on a double ball joint so he can look down about that much not a whole lot but then he can look up that much and then you can tilt his head side to side and also his twist as well and then the shoulder is on a ball joint so you can move his shoulder all the way around and it is a bit restricted due to the jacket but I did sculpt it in a way to 
allow a bit more range of articulation. So he's still quite mobile there. And then the shoulder is also on a hinge. So you can bring his arm out to the side. And then he can also go forward and back. And then he can also swivel as well around the joint. And he's got a single jointed elbow. Which is pretty nice. And he's got ball jointed wrists. So you can move those however you want. And then the torso is on a double ball joint. So you can lean forward about that much. Lean back that much. And then lean side to side as well as twist. And then this piece is a softer material, so it allows for a bit more range of articulation. So the hips are on ball joints, so you can kick his leg out to the side about that much, and then kick forward that much, kick back that much, and they can also swivel. He's got single jointed knees. And then for the ankle, it's on a hinge, so you can bring his foot back that much, forward about that much, you can tilt side to side as well as swivel, and then he's got the toe hinge. So because he's quite a simple design, I didn't have to sculpt too much on him on the already existing Figma body, so he still has pretty much all the range of articulation. But that's the figure, let's take a look at his accessories. So for hands, he comes with a pair of open palmed hands, Comes with one hand to hold his sword, and then another hand to hold his gun. And then this is the laser sword itself. The whole piece was already sculpted from the box, so all I had to do was paint on the metallic blue to give it that shine of laser. And then he also comes with the gun, which I've not modified in any way. But it looks nice overall. So not really an accessory, but a different character altogether is Peepo. And I hand sculpted the whole figure from scratch. So for the most part, I think I captured the lightness of the character and then I gave the character a kind of wash to really bring out the metallic details. And for articulation, his arm is on three hinges. So you can move his arm about however you want. And he can also twist as well. And overall, I'm quite happy with how Peepo turned out. He also comes with a Figma stand. And then finally, a Figma bag. So my final thoughts are, I'm pretty happy with how this figure turned out. Like I already said, I didn't have to sculpt too much on, so the process of making him wasn't too difficult. But in the end, I overall had quite a lot of fun making this character. And like I already said, I'm pretty happy with how the figure turned out in the end. But that's my review. Thank you for watching and enjoy some pictures.